In this video, I'm taking you to Dushanbe, the capital of Tajikistan, and we will also do a day trip to the Fan Mountains and the gorgeous Iskandakul Lake. The golden you see around me is all gold leaf. It's quite an easy, nice hike, and it's about 25 minutes, and we are almost at the lake. Welcome to Dushanbe, the capital of Tajikistan. Now, I am coming from Pamir Highway, the most epic road trip I've ever done. So if you haven't checked it out, click on the link above and check out the video. And I also want to tell you what Dushanbe is. It's the capital, but Dushanbe in Farsi means Monday. So it's famous because there used to be a big Monday market here. And that's why the city's name turned out to be Dushanbe. During the Soviet era, it was called Stalinabad, but then it was changed back to Dushanbe later when they gained independence, which was really nice. This behind me is the Somani Square and the Somani, the statue of the King Somani, who is considered the father of modern Tajikistan. He was also the king that renounced Zoroastrianism and embraced Islam, which is the current religion of Tajikistan. So let's see, look around this beautiful square and then we continue on further. Isn't this a cute little square? I mean, it's also great for people watching because a lot of people, who, you know, locals who come around. So we have a mosque to see now. Let's go check it out. I am in the Haji Yaqub Mosque now and this is located quite in the center of the city and it's really beautiful with that typical Persian architecture. Look at that behind me. It's quite a gorgeous mosque and I would recommend coming here in the morning because that's a time when there's no prayers and you can easily go around. There's no restrictions that you can't go in if you're a non-Muslim. I mean, I would, I would really like to spend a bit more time in the courtyard because it's really, really beautiful. But let me show you inside as well. The interior is brand new, but there's that unmistakable impression of Persian architecture. It is really beautiful. It's also quite interesting how Tajiks interpret religion. They are fairly moderate, and like most Central Asian countries who were under Soviet rule, they are really easy when it comes to religion. It is time to say goodbye to this beautiful mosque and I am taking you to a palace next. Well, a really big surprise when it comes to Dushanbe. Welcome to Tajikistan. I found a place where you can see all of the traditional craftsmanship of the Tajik people. And this is the Noros Palace. I'm standing in the Great Hall. And this is bling to its ultimate core. It's really beautiful. All the golden you see around me is all gold leaf. And this is actually the largest dome in Central Asia. Really 
really beautifully decorated and what I like is the rooms are very thematic so we started from the entrance the waiting room which is all mirror and then we came into the other hall which is right behind this it's all wood and what I really find fascinating is none of the columns have a repeating pattern it's all different the floors are all different types of wood these are not tiles these are all different types of wood that are from Tajikistan Miniatures made with pieces, pieces stones, semi-precious stones of Tajikistan, and special for this whole brought from all different areas of Tajikistan, 52,000 kilos of semi-precious stone. These stories our masters made from Kamolidini based of pictures. He was miniaturist 14th century. This story from Omar Khayyam, Shahnama Ferdowsi, and two last stories from poem Buriston of Sadi Sherozi. This hall is basically all of the different types of craftsmanship, the artists that came to signify all the beauty that Tajik culture is. So if you don't do anything else here, this is one place you definitely don't want to miss when you come to Tajikistan, even if you're staying in Dushanbe for just a few minutes. And the lady who gives the tour is absolutely amazing. She's really lively, friendly, so she will give you a lot more information than me. Don't miss this, seriously. Let me show you a bit more. Naroz Palace is not a residential palace, rather it is an official working palace and all the official delegations are received and entertained here. While the best part is it is actually available to hire for weddings, so you always get to see some nice weddings which I really enjoyed. This is the Ismaili center of Dushanbe. And what I really like about this building is its architecture. It takes inspiration from Bukhara style, which makes it really beautiful because it's all modern inside. Let's go check it out. The Shambay can be fairly hot and it was a really nice respite from all that heat. So the building is really tranquil, serene, and it has that soothing element. But don't forget to check if they have any tours available because you can't go there on your own. I am in Mehergon Market, which is the biggest, I believe, in the entire country. And this is a treasure trove if you want to understand little things that are different for Tajik culture. So right behind me is the tea stall and they do all sorts of different teas from, you know, herbs, herbal teas from, you know, flowers, green teas, black teas, and there's a huge amount that you can have here. And you can see behind me that little teapot. That's where all the different varieties are. Let's go check it out. Another thing I'm amazed by is the size of the grapes here. Look at this. These are huge and they're actually really, really sweet as well. You cannot miss these dinner, dance, music shows. And these are the typical dinner events here. They're not dull at all and there's no one dancing for you. Actually, people who are eating, they would get up. When the music starts, they would dance a little then they would go back and eat. It is honestly so engaging, super loud, but once you get used to it, it is so amazing. It's just so much fun watching and the music is so, you know, upbeat for dancing. The people come and go all the time. It is really nice. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I am officially a fan of Tajik dinner. They're amazing. They're so fun and they're so live and you get to meet new people. Everyone was so friendly. They made us feel so welcome. And yeah, I danced a little. I mean, a three-legged cow could do it better than me, but I did it. I tried it. 
because I didn't want to be rude. And I actually wanted to dance a little as well. It's really nice. We have to get up early tomorrow. So I'm going to head home. See you later. Good morning. We are heading to the Fan Mountain today for Skandako Lake and some more stuff. So we've left in the morning quite early because it takes about three, three and a half hours to get there and we don't want to miss all the fun. So the first part is this beautiful valley called Barsog and then we continue on and onward and I will show you what else you can see on the way until we get to Skandako Lake. Now I'm excited about the day. We made a stop on the way at a viewpoint and the scenery was completely different from anything that we'd seen so far. The mountains are very different when it comes to Pamir and Bahan versus here. Here's a little tip for you. If you click on that subscribe button, I will bring you some more amazing travel destinations. Most of them you haven't even heard of, I promise you. So, subscribe now! Welcome to the Fan Mountains, or Zarafsha Mountains as they're locally called. Look at that beautiful view behind me. And what I'm really, really happy about right now is the sun has come out. If you see all that way, we came through all these clouds and even here it rained a little bit. So, I was a bit worried because I didn't bring any jacket or anything. So yeah, do keep one just in case. But we got lucky and the sun's come out! Let's go check out Iskandako Lake next. This is our first view of Iskandako Lake and look at that beautiful stream that's going. So that's the one we saw before. An interesting fact for you, Tajikistan is 93% mountains and there are more than 3,000 lakes here. There are a lot of valleys and pretty much every valley has its own river. So they have a lot of dams. Electricity here is really cheap because of that. And it is amazing how much nature and fresh water they have. I am absolutely in love with this country. If you like adventure, this is one place you definitely don't want to miss. I promise you. So we've gotten to Iskandako Lake and it is really cold outside, a lot windy as well, but luckily it's not raining. So we're just gonna get some tea, some food. I'll show you around the lake a little bit and then we'll go see a waterfall if it's not raining. I am really regretting not bringing a jacket today. This is a good way to walk. The weather was so nice in Dushanbe, it just put me in this false sense of security and I didn't bring my jacket. It actually did get pretty cold and cloudy and we ended up not doing the boat ride on the lake. Well, this is all we get to see. I always wanted to see a Marco Polo chip and ta-da! It's dead though, so I don't know if it counts. And they're also much larger in the wild. We are heading on the way to see a beautiful waterfall. Tajikistan is insanely beautiful, but this incredible country requires some careful planning. So I've created a playlist that gives you all essential information to get to this beautiful country and have an amazing, amazing time. So click on the link above and check it now. The way is actually very easy. You just need to bring some good shoes, don't forget that. It's quite an easy, nice hike and it's about 25 minutes and we are almost at the lake, not the lake, sorry, the waterfall. Let's go check it out.
Welcome to my own waterfall. I totally got it to myself and it is beautiful. I honestly had no idea Tajikistan was this beautiful. Let me show you this. We will do a couple more stops before ending the day. But every place here is absolutely spectacular. Don't believe me? Watch this. The most interesting thing I found out about this waterfall, well, it doesn't really have a name. I couldn't even find it on Google Maps. So the rain has stopped and this behind me is the snake lake. I thought it looked like a snake, you know, winding but apparently they have some water snakes in the lake and that's why it's called the snake lake. Brave enough to swim? Go for it. On the other side is the viewpoint where you can see this Kandakul lake. So let me show you that. This is the viewpoint of Kandakul lake and you can barely see it. It's so cloudy. It started to rain again. And this is literally the only time I didn't bring my jacket or umbrella. I always keep them with me and I don't want to get wet and cold because it's my last day. It did start raining cats and dogs, so we're heading back to Dushan Bay. Look, I found a rainbow saying goodbye to Tajikistan. How sweet is that? Everything about this country is amazing. <laughs> This is the end of Tajikistan. It's an amazing country and honestly, before coming here, I didn't expect it to be this beautiful, this amazing, this diverse. Um, I mean, I've had such a beautiful experience. A big reason is the people of this beautiful country. So definitely, definitely, definitely come here. Make it your next stop. There's so much to see and do here. And the people will make it absolutely amazing for you. I'm heading to Uzbekistan tomorrow, so it's time to go pack my bags. I will see you there. Click on the link above and meet me in Uzbekistan.